statement on behalf of the President-elect. That means there will be no question and answer session at the end of the statement. However, there can be a press conference which will be held in due time in order to interact with you again. And at that occasion, we shall invite more questions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to deliver the statement from His Excellency, President Adam Obaro, as follows. And I begin. <coughs> Fellow Gambians, I would like, first of all, to thank you and to send you my greetings and my best wishes. As your President-elect, I would like to conclusively assert affirmatively and categorically that on the 19th of January 2017, I shall subscribe to the prescribed oath and subsequently inaugurate the new government of the Republic of the Gambia. The swearing in ceremony shall be held and conducted in the Gambia on Gambian soils and in full compliance with Section 63 of the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia and other relevant laws. I shall assume the office and functions of President of the Republic of the Gambia on this Thursday, this Thursday, the 19th of January 2017, without faith, inshallah. Let me also assure you that my presence in the Republic of Senegal is pursuant to the request of Our Excellency Elaine Johnson Sirling, President of Liberia, and the current chairperson of the Authority of Heads of State of ECOWAS. The special proximity and the unique social characteristics shared by the Republic of Senegal and the Republic of the Gambia render the Republic of Senegal most suited and practical on the current exigencies. I am honored to express my profound gratitude to the authority of heads of state of ECOWAS for their commitment to the application and implementation of the relevant road purpose of ECOWAS regarding the Gambian political problem. I will also express my deep appreciation to His Excellency Matisal, President of the Republic of Senegal, his government and people of the Republic of Senegal for their hospitality, for their care. I am also grateful to the African Union, the United Nations, and all our bilateral and multilateral partners for their support. I express my deep appreciation to all of you, fellow Gambians, both at home and in diaspora, for the exemplary manner you continue to conduct yourselves in accordance with the law. I call on all our citizens to continue to maintain peace, stability, and tranquility in our country. I urge all citizens to continue to exercise restraint, observe the rule of law, and not to respond to any provocation. I'm also aware of the massive state of ongoing illegal arrest of military and security officers by the outgoing president. I utterly condemn this egregious act. I demand the release of all persons unlawfully arrested or detained with immediate effect. Those engaged in violations of the fundamental human rights of Gambians are asked to stop immediately and to reverse their unlawful acts or face the full consequences of the law. They ought to stop their egregious acts or face the full consequences of the law with definite certainty. Once again, I would like to ask all of you, fellow Gambians, that on the 19th of January 2017, my government shall begin working on reversing the serious damages caused by 32 years of malgovernance. I thank you all.
I look forward to a new Gambia and a more developed Gambia with compassion. Send of hope. Thank you very much.